In The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, Link finds himself in the parallel world of Termina, where he discovers that he has just three days to right the wrongs caused by the mischievous Skull Kid, who is wearing the Majora's Mask, the evil relic that has doomed Clock Town, a city built in the middle of Termina. If Link is unable to neutralize the power of the Majora's Mask within those three days, the angry and insane moon, which has been casting a shadow over Clock Town, will plummet straight into it, destroying it and the rest of the world. The Land of Termina appears only once in the Legend of Zelda series, and there's quite a bit of mystery surrounding its whereabouts and existence. In this video, we will examine and theorize on the area that serves as the portal between the world of Hyrule and the parallel world of Termina. We will also ascertain the whereabouts of Link following his victory over Majora. Before going too far ahead, it's important to ensure we are in the proper timeline. The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask falls into the child timeline where the hero of time from the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time was victorious, successfully sealing away Ganon. Thus, after Link completed his quest in the Ocarina of Time, Princess Zelda used her power to rewind the seven years that Link had spent sleeping and restored the hero to his original era. Link found himself back in the Temple of Time, and the Master Sword had not yet been drawn into its drawn from its pedestal. His companion Navi disappeared into the heavens, and Link stepped into a new timeline. Link warned Princess Zelda of what the future would bring. Hearing his words, the princess entrusted the Ocarina of Time to Link and instructed him to travel far away in order to prevent Ganondorf from entering the sacred realm. It is clear that Princess Zelda knew that Link would be traveling outside of Hyrule. Having given Link the Ocarina of Time, Princess Zelda promised that she would be praying for his journey to be a safe one, and instructed him to remember the Song of Time if something should happen to him. After, after having been taught the Song of Time, Link departed with Epina on a secret journey. We know that Link departed for this secret journey several months after losing his companion Navi, and we know that Link got lost in a mysterious forest. According to the Majora's Mask, Mask original instruction manual, several months after rescuing Princess Zelda and saving the land of Hyrule, Link set foot into the mysterious world of Termina by chance while in the midst of a new journey. This fact is confirmed by the official Nintendo Player's Guide for Majora's Mask, which states that months after parting ways with his fairy sidekick Navi, Link sets off to search for his missing companion. Similarly, Hyrule Historia states that months passed as Link wandered with Epina in search of his companion Navi, eventually losing himself in a mysterious forest, which led to a par parallel world known as Termina. But where exactly is this mysterious force located, which led to the parallel world known as Termina? And when did Link enter Termina? The official Nintendo Player's Guide for Majora's Mask states that Link was ambushed by the Skull Kid and the two fairies as he galloped on his horse, Epina, out of Hyrule and into an uncharted region of the Lost Woods. In fact, we see this event taking place in the opening sequence of the game. Now, this uncharted region of the Lost Woods is also referred to as a stretch of Hyrulean Lost Woods that was never explored by Link in his previous quest, i.e. Ocarina of Time. This is helpful, as we know that the area of the Lost Woods that Link is traversing in the beginning of the game takes place in Hyrule. Of course, there were secret passages that connected remote areas in Hyrule to the Lost Woods. Adding more mystery to all of this is the fact that adults lost in the Lost Woods were turned into Stalfos, and children lost there would turn into Skull Kids. Going back to the opening scene in Majora's Mask, after Link is ambushed by the Skull Kid and, and, the, and the two fairies, the Skull Kid approaches Link and steals the Ocarina of Time from him. Once Link regains consciousness, he chases Skull Kid through the catacombs, an area with a series of underground passageways 
that appear to connect the Lost Woods in Hyrule to the entrance to Termina. Link eventually enters what appears to be a hollow tree trunk, falling down quite a distance and eventually he lands on a Deku flower. Now, it has been theorized by some people, with good reason, that when Link falls inside this hollow tree trunk and lands on the Deku flower, he has reached Termina, and that this hollow tree trunk serves as the portal between Hyrule and Termina. This theory, at first glance, appears supported by the facts and circumstances. After all, once Link falls on the Deku flower, a plant that previous to this game was nowhere, nowhere to be found in Hyrule and only appears to exist in Termina, we see the various masks and items from the game displayed in a manner similar to and reminiscent of the on-screen visual effects that result from playing the Song of Time in the Land of Termina, which takes us back to Dawn of the First Day, of course. So isn't that an indication that Link's fall has already placed him in the parallel world of Termina? For the reasons that will follow, I conclude that the hollow tree trunk through which Link ends up on the Deku flower is not the portal connecting Hyrule to Termina, and that Link's landing on the Deku flower has not placed him into Termina. First, the official Nintendo Player's Guide for Majora's Mask states that Tattle, the feisty fairy partner of Skull Kid, reluctantly guides her new partner, Link, through a portal to a parallel world. Going back to the instance when Link fell through the hollow tree trunk and landed on the Deku flower, and to the period immediately thereafter, Link wasn't introduced to Tattle, his new fairy companion, yet, as he is introduced to Tattle after he has been turned into a Deku scrub. Thus, since the player's guide notes that Link was guided by the new fairy through a portal to a parallel world, and since at the time of the fall and immediately thereafter he wasn't even introduced to the fairy, let alone being guided by her, it's reasonable to conclude that the portal came after Link's fall into the hollow tree trunk. Second, the official Nintendo Player's Guide for Majora's Mask explains that a Mesa Peppered Cave serves as the portal connecting the world of Hyrule with the parallel world of Termina. And notably, it states that Link is supposed to use the power of the Deku Scrub to, to traverse the chasm in this Mesa Peppered Cave that serves as the portal connecting the world of Hyrule with the parallel world of Termina. Thus, we know that the portal is some sort of a Mesa Peppered Cave. Moreover, this revelation implies that you enter the portal only after having been turned into a Deku Scrub, and although Link eventually gets turned into a Deku Scrub, at the time of the fall through the hollow tree trunk and immediately thereafter, he is still in human form. As the official Nintendo Player's Guide for Majora's Mask makes clear, Link must use the power of the Deku Scrub in order to traverse the chasm in the Mesa Peppered Cave which serves as the portal. Of course, we know that Deku Link's primary ability, the one thing that only the Deku Link can do, is to burrow into a Deku Flower and launch himself into the air. <coughs> in the Catacombs, one area where Link must use this ability is in the final area right before entering through the door that leads to the Twisted Tunnel or Corridor. And this is the same area where Link obtains the Deku Nut from the chest and is told by the fairy about what is widely believed to be the Deku Butler's son's spirit in the form of a tree. Clearly, this area comes much later than the fall into the hollow tree trunk. Indeed, after his fall, Link has to traverse through a few additional areas in the catacombs before he enters what appears to be a twisted corridor or tunnel, which then leads us inside the clock tower inside of Clock Town. This effect, showing the twisted corridor or tunnel, which leads to inside the clock tower, 
is more likely where the actual transformation from Hyrule to Termina occurs, as this twisted tunnel connects the inside of the clock tower with the Mesa Peppered Cave that Deku Link must traverse. In fact, in the 3DS version of the game, this area is represented in a more prominent purple color. Incidentally, the color we most associate with Majora's Mask, a game that takes place in Termina, and certainly looks to be more of a portal or warp point than just another area. Finally, we know that Link's transformation into a Deku Scrub is caused by the spirit of a member of the Deku tribe. However, what's relevant here is that according to Hyrule Historia, the member of the Deku tribe died in the forest connecting Hyrule and Termina. Thus, the area that is widely believed to be where the Deku Butler's son died and that is currently occupied by the tree which holds his spirit, as confirmed by Hyrule Historia, must be the pe Mesa Peppered Cave that serves as the portal between Hyrule and Termina. In fact, both in the beginning part of the game and in the end credits, this cave appears to act as a portal between the two worlds. For example, in the beginning of the game, we see that the door leading from this area takes us through the twisted tunnel and straight inside the clock tower. And in the end credits, following the conclusion of the game, we see the camera essentially moving into or through this door. And the next image we see is Link on his horse in the Lost Woods again. Thus, this area is likely the portal that connects Hyrule to Termina. The statement from the fairy that the tree, which holds the spirit of the Deku Butler's son, looks dark and gloomy makes more sense now, as it is a harbinger of things to come to those who enter the final d door through this portal which takes one from a relatively peaceful place of Hyrule to the doomed world of Termina. To summarize, we know from the official player's guide for Majora's Mask that Link is guided by his new partner, Tattle, through a portal to a parallel world. So we know the portal between Hyrule and Termina occurs after Link has met his new partner, Tattle. This alone precludes Link's fall on the Deku Flower from being considered Link's first entrance into Termina. Moreover, the official Nintendo Player's Guide also states that Link is supposed to use the power of the Deku Scrub to traverse the chasm in the Mesa Peppered Cave that serves as the portal connecting the world of Hyrule with the parallel world of Termina. This Mesa Peppered Cave appears to be the final room right before the Twisted Tunnel or Corridor where we find the Deku Nut in a treasure chest and wh where we also find the spirit of the member of the Deku tribe in the form of a tree, widely believed to be the Deku Butler's son, spirit. I say this because it is in this cave room that Link must use the power of the Deku Scrub to traverse from one flower to another to arrive at the final flower which is situated near the tree that is holding the spirit of the Deku Butler's son. Moreover, according to Hyrule Historia, we know a member of the Deku tribe, which is represented by the tree, died in the forest connecting Hyrule and Termina. Thus, the area where the spirit of the deceased Deku tribe member is located serves as the portal that connects Hyrule with Termina. As we recall from the beginning, the entire reason Link left Hyrule and ended up in Termina was because he was in search of his fairy companion Navi. So, after he was able to save Termina from the falling moon and retrieve the Majora's Mask for the, Majora for the Happy Mask Salesman, where did Link go? The Majora's Mask end credits shows that, that the Happy Mask Salesman travels and asks Link Shouldn't you be returning home as well? However, Link does not react in any way to this statement by the Happy Mask Salesman. Also in the end credits, Link is told by Tattle, Why don't you just leave and go about your business? The rest of us have a carnival to go to. Notably, Link nods to the statement showing approval. Towards the conclusion of the end credits, we see Link traveling at what appears to be the same
place as he was in the beginning of the game, i.e. the uncharted region of Lost Woods, which, as we covered before, is a Hyrulean Lost Woods that was previously unexplored. So did Link go back to Hyrule after completing his quest in Majora's Mask? Is it possible Link was going to go elsewhere? After all, we know from near the beginning of the game that Princess Zelda instructed Link to travel far away in order to prevent Ganondorf from entering the Sacred Realm. I would argue that Link did not go back to Hyrule, but rather continued his quest and searched for Navi. It is possible that in order to continue his quest for finding Navi, he had to get out of Termina and enter the Hyrulean Lost Woods again, but I think it's reasonable to conclude that he wasn't going to back to Hyrule, but simply continuing his search for Navi. This is bolstered by the fact that Hyrule Historia states that Link's whereabouts after leaving Termina are unknown, and by the fact that Link nodded to Tattle's suggestion that Link should go about his business, oh, and of course his business was searching for Navi. Now that we are nearing end of this video, I'd be interested to know what you guys think. What do you guys think as far as the area that serves as the portal between Hyrule and Termina? And where do you guys think Link goes after his quest in Majora's Mask? I'd be happy to get all of your thoughts, so feel free to comment away. Thank you and have a nice day.